All right there. So hi, advanced art. Um, I'm, I'm kind of making this video for a, a number of different reasons, but I have some mixed, mixed emotions right now because uh, I was really expecting to see some more work from you guys. And out of the, um, oh, I think it's about five or six submissions, emails that I got, um, well, it's just leading me to, uh, I guess, guess what else is going on in the classroom and how serious some of you guys are taking it. Um, for those of you guys that did email me, thank you very much. Um, I had the afternoon to kind of go over and look over some of your guys' stuff, and um, I wanted to be able to go over some of it with you guys, offer some some pieces of, of criticism or critique it a little bit, if you will. Um, and that's what I'm going to do here through through uh, uh, Photoshop really quick. But for those of you guys that didn't email me anything, um, I'm, I'm going to hold you accountable for this one um, and, and hope that maybe you guys can rebound a little bit better uh, today, Thursday, um, so that you guys don't get dinged too much on this, uh, this upcoming progress report. Um, uh, look, without further ado, let's, let's just get into it, okay? Um, I, I, I got a series of emails this afternoon from um, people uh, in fourth hour, and uh, I was actually pretty surprised with the stuff that I got. Um, because I kind of expected it to be maybe a little bit worse considering we only really had one day and the second day we rushed through the bottom half without really nailing it down. But I was actually very excited with some of the stuff we've got. Um, up here first is uh, the first submission that it looks like we're looking at here on the right hand side, or I'm sorry, the left hand side of the sheet of paper, a, a left facing profile view um, from, from everything that I see. Uh, it looks like your proportions are correct here. Um, I don't like using names, especially on video like this. Um, so I'm just going to kind of refer to this in, in general here. I think your proportions are good. Everything looks good. Um, one thing that I would say here is I think the circle that you're using to cut off is a little bit high. I think maybe that circle would look a little bit better if we were maybe, be, I don't know, um, let me see if I can draw a circle here. If we were here, um, in this area, rather than up high where you had it, I think this, this circle is a little bit more centered, whereas when you, I move the circle up to almost where you got it, it feels like it's a little bit too high on the skull, and there's a lot of area down here, which I think is is making or giving the illusion as though the chin or the jawline here is a little bit too long when in in actuality I think it's it's actually the right size I think you've got everything coming down I'm drawing this with my mouse so I apologize for the jerky lines I think I think you've got the lines here perfect I just think that um, our circles a little bit high um, I you notice here on the back view I think everything here is working really well and the thing that I notice is that you're not drawing a line from here or here outlining a chalk uh, cheekbone because you won't you're not able to see it so um, those of you guys that are, are paying attention to this critique right now I think this is a really good model uh, or a really good addition to use and, and, and look at to base some of your guys's moves off of just maybe keep in mind where you're actually placing that circle uh, that you're cutting off in regards to the actual shape of the skull um, let me close this one and take a look. No, nope, I don't want to save it. Let's uh, let's take a look at this one right here. Um, this is this is something that I saw uh, repeated on a couple people's a couple submissions, um, and I wanted to kind of point that out. Um, it, it, it's actually an easy fix, but um, let me just try to draw as best as I can, like this little measurement here, right now. I don't. This isn't exact, but you can see how big this gap is, and right here. Well, well, not right there. About right here is the distance that this person is telling me there's the skull should be right so this this big gap right here is how big the top of the skull is which if that's what the person draws that's what the person draws I don't think there's any problem with that but I think this area right here I think this jawline might be a little bit too long it feels like this line that comes straight down just is a little too long. I think maybe this would have looked a little bit better if we if we drew a line and had it come down maybe right to here and then utilized 
those lines coming off. Oh, sorry, this one has to come to a point like this a little bit better. I just feel like maybe that's a little bit more in proportion. Maybe, maybe a little too small on that one, but I think, you know, you split the difference and maybe, maybe use this line here that you're illustrating as the mouth. Maybe that would be a good one. Um, but I saw this on a, on a lot of people's submissions that, that the line that we're drawing down for the profile is a little bit too long. So double check that as you guys are doing that. Um, it does end up making things look uh, like like the face is getting stretched out a little bit more vertically than I think people intend to do. Um, let's go to this one. This one I thought was a really good submission. Um, I think there's a lot of good things working here. Actually, what I was most proud about was, if I can zoom in here, the fact that I can see some of the marks here. Like It, it might not seem like a lot, but I like that I can see the original circle line that curves right here. Whoa, that's a horrible thing. I like that you can see this cur curved line right here um, that shows me that the steps are being followed and, and also I can then see the line that's getting drawn straight over to match up over on this side, the, bo whoop, the bottom of the circle right here. Um, it's kind of important to me, let me get that little, little guy out of here. It's kind of important to me when I go in here and I start kind of evaluating things to make sure that everything is kind of the way that it should be. Um, and that, you know, what people are drawing is what people are meaning to draw and not just kind of guessing. Now, um, I kind of, I, I kind of chuckled when I saw this, but, um, this butt chin right here, it's cute, but I try to make, I would just kind of warn whoever this is, um, maybe to get away from doing that, um, on, on a real one. Like, obviously this isn't a real one yet, but I'd, I'd be kind of careful drawing that kind of butt based chin right there. Um, th this, this is something that we'll talk about when we get into more studying the anatomy of the face a little bit, but technically I think to represent it with the actual curve might be a little misleading. Um, but everything else on this image, I think this one's a really good image. Um, this nose is a little funny right here, a little Owen Wilson bump-esque, but you know we haven't drawn noses or anything like that, so I don't think that's a big deal. Um, one thing again that I'm noticing uh, like on the very first submission here, I'll kind of try to draw it again. Oh, there we go. Um, there we go. I think, you know, when you're going to cut off the circle, make sure that the circle that you're cutting off is as, as close to being in the middle as possible. I think maybe this could be drawn down just slightly a little bit, and that would make our curves and our edges here to the cheekbone a little bit a little bit uh, more uh, curved and I think it would bring our chin up a little bit but again I'm not really gonna kill anybody for this I think this is the first time you guys have had to observe that so it's not too big of a deal uh, let's let's move on here to the next one um, again okay so this is another another little issue here that um, I think kinda just got addressed on the past couple here I, I, I'm gonna draw on top of this and I, and I want you guys to check this out. Um, this, if this distance right here is the distance that we're saying the head takes up, okay? This is the distance that the head takes up. I think that this circle right here should be a little bit bigger um, because what I'm noticing is it's almost the same as the distance of the jaw. I think basically what I'm saying here is I think the jaw itself, this area, the lower mandible, I think this area is becoming a little bit too elongated and a little bit too wide, uh, or I'm sorry, not wide, a little bit too long and brought down. You can kind of see this over here on this one. Um, I feel like the distance from the bottom of the chin up towards the top of the circle is just too vertical. I feel like it's too stretched. Now, there's a lot of different reasons why this could be. Um, maybe. Maybe the person who's doing this is mismeasuring the gap. Maybe they think that the radius from here down to here is actually a lot longer than, than what they're looking at. So maybe that's why they're drawing the lines over here, uh, the lines over here a little bit a little bit longer. But I am noticing that like the circular shape up here used for the front facing skull is a little bit more oval-esque. Um, it looks like an oval or an ellipse rather than an actual circle. To kind of show you what I mean here, let me kind of just draw, oh, here we go. Let me just draw a circle. Now, I, I obviously understand I've got a computer, so this is a little bit easier for me. Let's draw a circle in here. Uh, I 
forget which button I need to hold down. There we go. Let's draw a circle in here that kind of fits the shape that you're talking about. And you'll notice uh, here the circle. I'll lower the opacity so it's a little bit more see-through. Um, notice how much further my computer circle drops down rather than the hand-drawn circle right here. Um, this can cause some of the landmarks, some of the facial landmarks, to be a little bit off. So um, this would be something that I would try to tell someone, you know, before you start going in and shading, maybe look at and make sure that the shapes that you started off with are actually the shapes that you're meaning to draw. Um, but like I said, again, on the first one, I think this is pretty good. Um, let's go and take a look at the other ones. This is another really good submission here. Um, there's not a lot to say about this one. I would kind of make a point though to to kind of call out that I think this line right here that's curving outwards needs to be a little bit more curved inwards. I think this is the line that you want to try to draw when not looking at someone because it makes the next line that outlines or that details the outside jaw a little bit more. I think, unfortunately, this image right here looks a little bit more masculine, uh, masculine, I should say. Um, and, and if that's what the person's going for, then that's fine. I don't think there's an issue with that. But I think you want to get away a little bit from doing the curved balloon shape and think of drawing more curved in shapes. Now these are way more exaggerated than they should be, but you can kind of see here on this one that it's a little bit more curved here in towards the cheekbone rather than being curved. There we go, away, all right? Just kind of something to think about here. Um, this is the last submission that I got and um, again, I, I think, you know, <laughs> the, the only concern that I have with this is this is from a very mechanical uh, person. Like this is a very mechanical drawing, which is good and all. I don't think there's a problem trying to do it mechanically, but I think you want to try to watch out for making sure everything is exact. I feel like when I look at this, this is almost like a geometry problem rather than a, a drawn design. Um, whatever whatever this dimension is right here, whatever this is, I have this feeling that the person almost measured exactly down to here to get half. And, and there's no problem with that, but, but I, I, I just feel like we're relying a little bit too much on the ruler, whereas when you draw freehand, you don't have the ruler. So I appreciate this person taking my, my sediments and, and saying that it needs to be kind of halfway, it needs to be the radius of the circle <clears throat> down to its edge, which would be down here. That's the distance that's down here for the jaw. But I think this is more of a literal interpretation, which ends up making the jaw look a little bit elongated. We could maybe brought that up just a little bit, maybe to like right here, and I think we would have been good. Um, remember, there's really no way to do this um, with, with a ruler. There's no way to give you a specific uh, formula for making sure everything's perfect. The Loomis method of drawing the face is just kind of like this mathematical way of looking at things and eyeballing things through your observation skills, not necessarily through a measurement skill, and being able to say, well, if I can locate where the eyes are, then I can know where the nose is. And if I know where the nose is, then that probably means I know where the ears are or where the bottom of the jaw is gonna be. Um, it, it's kind of reliant on your observational skills and less on your ability to take a ruler out and measure. So, um, I, you know, today, follow up uh, the drawings that you were doing um, that were posted on my website yesterday, do the other views. Um, those of you guys that didn't send anything in to me, uh, I'm, I'm really looking for something from you. Um, I, I'm hoping that I'm not going to get let down on this one, but, but there's only a day left. So, um, I, I can't stress this enough. There's really not much I can help you out with when it comes to drawing skills when you're not willing to draw. So I hope you guys make the right decision on this one, and I will see you again Friday morning. Um, till then, good luck. Bye.